Hi, I'm Shira on the implementation team, and in this video we'll be going over step-by-step -step how you can complete your Clever Sync directly from your Remind District Administrator dashboard. Clever is a free third-party tool that Remind uses to sync school or district SIS data. We recommend Clever rostering for districts and schools that are already using Clever. Before you complete your Clever Sync with Remind, you'll want to make sure that you have successfully shared your school data on Clever and have connected with Remind. You can add the Remind app to your Clever District Administrator account and Remind will approve your request. Then you can set sharing permissions to choose what data you would like to transfer. You can set sharing preferences for sections, schools, and more. You can also reference our Clever Sync Help Center article to see what data we require. It's important to filter out any information you do not want accounts for, such as emergency contacts and inactive classes. Once your data is up to date and ready to go on Clever, you can begin your sync with Remind. Log into your Remind District Administrator account. If you are a school administrator, please reach out to your district tech team or the Remind support team. Click on the Settings tab in the top right corner. Then choose SIS Sync from the column on the left to be taken to your SIS Sync dashboard page. You'll come here to set up your initial sync and can then return to this page at any time to view the status. Click on the button Sync Through Clever. Click Set Up Clever Sync. You'll be prompted to log into your Clever account, so make sure to have your Clever login credentials handy. Once logged in, the next step is to match your schools. Here, we just want to confirm that the schools in your Remind School Plan correctly match the schools in Clever. Simply choose the correct school name from the drop-down list on the right to match your schools. If there are any schools you do not wish to sync, deselect the blue checkbox on the left. The next step is to choose the types of accounts you wish to create. You can create accounts for all roles and classes, students, teachers, and classes, but not parents, roles only, but no classes, teachers only, but no classes, or students only, but no classes. Take note that the first option for all roles and classes is the defaulted choice. So if you would prefer a different option, make sure to select the corresponding button. And remember, Remind syncs data exactly how it appears in Clever, so make sure you filter out any unwanted data. Once you hit Finish, Accounts and Classes creation will begin immediately. The sync process may take several hours, so you can come step away and return to your SIS sync dashboard when you receive an email notification that your sync is complete. Once complete, you can review any possible errors or holds that need to be addressed. Once your sync is complete and you've addressed any possible holds, the last step is to send notifications to your community that accounts have been created. Because we want you to have ownership over these notifications, they are not automated, so you can choose to send these out at a time that works best for your community. A school or district administrator can send these notifications from their account. To send notifications, go to the individual school dashboard by selecting the school name in the left column. Choose Settings then SIS Sync to view the options for sending notifications. Your community will receive an email and a text notification depending on what contact information you have included in your sync. Note that any classes from your Clever Sync will remain in a pending state until the teacher logs into Remind and claims their account. Once those classes are claimed, they will become visible to administrators. Please note that teachers who have already active Remind users will gain access to their rostered classes immediately. Congratulations, you've now successfully completed your Clever Sync with Remind. You can always come back to this page to check on the status of your sync. During semester and end of year changes, you'll want to visit your SIS sync to remove any holes that may have occurred. That wraps up our video on how to complete the Clever Sync. Thanks for watching.